out here, we have Tristan. What you up to out here, buddy? Hey, everybody. So what I'm doing over here is I'm scraping off this epoxy stuff that's on the uh, window trim because we need to replace it. So, because we don't want moisture getting in there and like making stuff rotten like this right here. So you're rotten there and rotten down here that I've already chiseled at. Mm -hmm. And we don't want moisture getting inside either. Because, yeah, that's how you get rot. So yeah, I'm just, you can kind of see it right here. Like, see these drippies is where it like dripped and I've already gotten these sides and a little bit of these outsides, so I pretty much just have this to do and a little bit of the edges. And after that, after I've chipped all that off, I'll need to sand it with some sandpaper, uh, sand the wood I mean, so that we can uh, stain it. So, yeah. Nice. Yes. Yeah, getting all the bright work redone. So it looked nice. Yeah. Yeah, so it looks like they had used some epoxy uh, probably the same time they did the door. Just uh, came and slapped some on there to preserve it for what it's worth. And not really sure how long ago that was, but they're definitely in need of a uh, little attention, so. Some delicate work here. Don't want to rip up the rotten wood too much. <laughs> yeah. But no, it's not too bad. There's a couple of spots, like Tristan pointed out down below, that are probably going to need to be uh, pulled off and trimmed, and we'll either get a new piece of wood for there to fill it, or if it's uh, not too big, we'll just use some filler compound and and stuff like that. We're not really sure how long we'll keep the bright work on here if we'll uh, end up swapping it out later I'm sure we will figure that as we go along but for now we're keeping it and it needs to be preserved so the other day our refrigeration tech came down and he evacuated the system so we are ready to get this big evaporator out of our way uh, it's pretty basic, so all the gas has been pumped out of it. It's been reclaimed and it's stored in a bottle. Uh, so we got a couple of lines that we need to cut, the high pressure side, and then I guess it's a suction line. I'm not exactly uh, sure of the terminology, but the smaller ones are the high pressure side that come out of the compressor. This one goes back to the compressor. Well, these would come from the condenser, but at any rate. This one goes back to it after um, the gas is circulated through the system and it goes back to get compressed again. So that's a larger one. That's a suction, I guess, for the, uh, compression, uh, the compressor. Anyways, I'm not, uh, I know the basics about re refrigeration, but I'm not super savvy about it. So if I get terminology wrong, we often use terms interchangeably. <laughs> so. Uh, so yeah, um, I think we're gonna go ahead and we'll get these lines marked. Uh, we're gonna just take some tape and we'll put a piece of tape around them and then wrap it with some clear tape to protect it. And we'll do it on the other side to the same corresponding pipe so we don't get the stuff mixed up. We don't really know what the long-term game plan for this refrigeration unit is. Um, the compressor is probably fairly obsolete at this point. Um, I think it's, uh, it's not a hermetic one like most of them are nowadays. I think it's a scroll or, uh, I don't even think it's a scroll. I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that. I forget the different kinds, but, uh, but I think the compressor is probably fairly obsolete. It's an old system. But uh, the good news is, is that this evaporator is in good shape and we should be able to still use it. The fins are in great shape. It doesn't show any signs of corrosion, uh, which is actually pretty amazing. So I don't know what they used for a core on the, uh, 
on the the evaporator, the radiator part of it, but it's it's very good. It's in good shape. So we should be able to use it in a future system. Um, our thought process when we bought the boat is that when we installed RSW, we'd go with the split system that can do RSW, but then you can also switch it over to freeze with. We're still kind of sticking with that game plan, so our intention was really never to use this system as a whole. We were hoping that we could possibly uh, reuse some of the components and uh, looks like the evaporator and probably the condenser too are just fine. So we'll, we'll know about that more as we move into that process. Um, that's a, a very big expensive high ticket item so that's something that is a little bit down the road for us and uh, as we move forward on that we will get more information exactly what we're going to do. But today's task is to get this thing out of our way. And why are we moving it? Well, quite simply because we need to be able to fill this fish hold with water. Um, to live tank our crab, to set this boat up for RSW. So this cannot be in here or it'll just get ruined. So we got a little tubing cutter, a squeeze in here, cut these small ones off, and then probably just have to use, uh, well, we can't even get in there with the big tubing cutter, so we're just gonna have to probably just use the saws all on that, and, and when we're done, we'll try and get the, get the junk out of the line, and uh, we'll, we'll cap all these off and, and kinda prepare it for storage. So that's where we're at. Yeah, things are coming along nicely. It's going to clear up a lot of room in the engine room. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite a spaghetti layout in there. Mm -hmm. Everything goes every which way as far as the refrigeration system is concerned. So yeah. it'll be nice to get it all out and just kind of start fresh too. The compressor and the motor that drives it are kind of like elevated up off the deck and right in the way. It'll be nice to get that stuff cleared out because our plumbing is gonna be on that side. Uh, some manifolds for, for shifting, uh, selecting which pipe you wanna pump water through or which one you wanna draw water through. So it'll be good to get that out of the way and clear that space up for, for that project, which is Coming up too, when we get on the grid, we plan on putting our through hole over on that side, so we'll need that all cleared out anyways. Mm -hmm. When we get hauled out, actually. Yeah, yep. excuse me. Yeah, when we get hauled out, not, not going on the grid again, um, we'll get, get the boat pulled. Yep. So yeah, that stuff will need to be out of the way for that anyways. So that's nice that we got that done. Uh, it was a really quick job. He's only down here for about an hour. So, um, yeah, we'll start working on breaking the stuff down, clearing it out. Not quite sure how heavy this thing is. I guess we're about to find out. Yep. <laughs> we're just gonna cut this one here. That way the wires, we can just match back to the plug again. Most likely these things are all rusted in there anyway, so. As you can see, there's a healthy layer of dust on everything. <laughs> uh, I don't know what spider's been hanging out down here, but got some cobweb action there. <gasps> I do believe those were for the lights that were in here. Hmm. So probably, boy, these are going to be a little bit tough to cut to you.
we'll just cut these here. Not really too concerned um, about trying to salvage this stuff. We'll actually probably come back in here and nip these closer just so they're not sticking out and getting tore up when we move this thing around. It's probably better just to cut it here, huh? And yep. be done with it. Because all this stuff, if we can reuse it, we'll be wanting to... It's all going to get changed around plumbing and stuff, so not really a big deal. hard to cut flattened pipe with tubing cutter. I think I'll just cut it up here maybe. And uh, then we can get it on the back side later. tape over these, try and keep the contaminants out of it. choice except just to whack this other pipe so after we cut it we'll do our best to maybe go back in and we can trim it uh, past the elbow where I'm going to cut it and then we can get any kind of cuttings or contaminants out of it and we'll plug it off but I don't think there's much else I can do about it right now so I think I'll just cut it right up there against the bulkhead huh yeah and that's a straight shot to pull it through and 
and uh, stuff shouldn't tumble too far down past that elbow, I don't think. Yep. And we go come back in here afterwards, up in here, and we can just use a pair of, of pipe cutters. And this is too too skinny to get a, a regular pair of a tubing cutters in there and cut that. So I'm just gonna cut it right up here on this elbow, as close as I can up here. Break off, anyways. Not much there. Turn on the multi tool. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Multi tool! Good call. We'll put it to the test. I don't even know if I can get it in there. <laughs> yeah, kind of weird spot, huh? Yeah, it is. It might work. You know? Hacksaw, but we don't own one. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little bit of weight to it. So the uh, starboard bolt's still in over there too. Okay. The bottom one. Okay. I don't know if we want to pull that one out first, maybe. Yeah, yeah, probably. And then lift up and pull this one out and hopefully swing it down. This is going to open up a little bit of room in here, huh? Yeah. There we go. Oh, I suppose that's going to be in our way. See if I can get this cover off. Well, we were also hoping to do a uh a hatch mounted system too so that kind of uh, goes along with removing this too not only just for the uh, tanking down the hold but also just our long-term plan of wanting to do something more like that yeah we need something that we can take on and off the boat without a bunch of trouble without you know doing a bunch of plumbing every time or dealing with penetrations to a fish hold bulkhead so, I mean, we knew before beforehand when we bought the boat that this would be coming out of here. So this is no big surprise to us. Mm -hmm. um, kind of like everything else in here. We knew that we'd be facing some repairs down here. And uh, it's all part of our, our long-term plan. And so, yeah, we're, 
we're right on track with where we need to be. Oh, that's Ooh. Nice. Lovely. And that's why we have our masks on. Because everything is dusty here. Oh yeah, that's not bad, is it? Nope. Got her yet? Yep. Take her down slow. Yep. And yeah, the other side is... They don't scratch the nice gel coat now. <laughs> yeah, I think she's good. That one attached it on disconnected. It must be disconnected now. Right? Mm -hmm. Just a green line. Got fittings on it anyway. There we go. Must have had some length there, huh? I guess that's just gravity center of gravity there, so. Wow. Alrighty. That really opens it up, huh? Wow. Well, I'd say we should have done this right away, but thankfully we haven't been bonking our heads on it this whole time. Actually, it served fairly well as a light mount. That's true, it did. <laughs> and apparently a dust catcher, too. Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, I guess um, I think we should just be able to lower it down or find something to put it on. Maybe a couple of blocks of wood or something. And we can just rotate it a bit more and, and set it down on its side. Mm -hmm. We could just set it down on this and then drag it over and then hoist it out. Yeah, so pivot it the rest of the way mm -hmm. with two logs there. With yep. logs. Yeah, block it up Drop enough it. to get past this stuff right here so mm -hmm. it's not wonky. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think we got a couple of pieces of four by up there and then just some two by fours will work. Okay. Let's make a simple little pile of trimming under it, huh? Awesome. Well, that was uh, simple ish so far. All right, that'll work. So, so what do you think? I'm thinking if I just go like this, and then I can just lift it up, eh? Uh-huh. Okay. Let's try that. There we go. That's much better. Ready? Yep. This way. Awesome. Okay. All right. Cool. Nice. Not really that heavy, but it is kind of a little wonky here, isn't it? Yeah, put the back and set it back to my four. There we go. Yeah. Touch. There we go. Nice. Interesting. It's like a new wall to look at now. Yeah, a lot of it was hidden. Okay, folks, well, that was pretty painless. Uh, I guess the next thing is we'll just drag this over um, underneath the hatch uh, cover opening and just hoist it out of here. Yeah. I don't know what we'll use. Chain hoist, that'll take forever. Yeah, but that's in the truck anyway. <laughs> that's in the truck. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we'll have to go grab something. It's a yep. little bit heavy to probably heft out. Yeah, so we'll get this all positioned and get rigged up. And we shall go from there. Well, 
Ready? You'll have to stop once you get to that little cross. Maybe not. Ready? Yep. Yeah. All right. That worked pretty good. So just, uh, guess we get a little bridle going here, huh? I think so. It's got some good spots to grab back here, I think, and maybe just off these two legs right here and then just come around the front with one and bring them together three-way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think? We were afraid we were going to have to fire this thing up for our refrigeration guy. I'm glad we didn't have to because Dude. it would have been a blizzard down here. Just your little bit of grinding then was like... <laughs> Uh, it's just it's coated in here. I we'll have to give it a good blast off with the air hose, huh? Mm -hmm. That really opened up a lot of space in here. It did, huh? Indeed. Why is there so many holes in here? There's holes in the ceiling, too. Those are for the mast. Oh, oh really? Huh. Yeah. Wow. Yep, I, I had looked at those a while back because they were leaking. Uh-huh. That's why there's a... A brown stain on the top of that evaporator. Yeah, yeah. So we'll have to address that. Yep. Deck side. Even if we just clean it up and put like a bead of silicone around that stuff, that'll probably do it for a while. Long term plan if that mask goes bye bye. Put a freestanding one on there. Then we can run our exhaust up through it. Cleans everything up. Yeah. And they look sweet too. They do look nice. Hook me up. Oh, you're not going to be able to lift that. Who do you think you are? Dude, who do you think I am? I think you're Matthew. Stick it through the scupper, tie onto it with the single on the fishtail, and That dude's doing the impression of what we'll be doing. It's just a little bit too much to lift for the one-on-one -on -one off. Well, the good thing is that we have it in position. Yeah. And we'll need that for the compressor and whatnot anyways in the engine room. I think we could run the single down through the cleat rail and over. Oh, under the rail? Yeah. Where we drag the, where the cleats are? Yeah. Yeah. 
Looks that like sounds fun. Order. Let's do it. All right. Little sister to the rescue here. We'll use a single off the fishtail to hoist this thing up. be plenty we'll just uh, reposition this knot and uh, it might be long enough but not quite nope. right there stay that's called a boss snap it's the boss it's totally the boss Let me just uh, clamp this down somewhere and I'll, I'll go down and, and hold it Tied and guide it, it. Yeah. It's already pivoted. Yeah, from the block swinging this way. Yep. So we should be able to just lift it up to that point and it'll be mostly clear, huh? Then we might be able to just move. I think so. Real easy. 
quite swimmingly. A lot quicker than hoisting it up with the chain hoist. Yeah. Um, but now you, you obviously wouldn't want to do that with the heavy load because you'd end up burning your line on a on a corner like that. It'll heat up and melt and snap. But uh, I mean, it's not that heavy and the load was moving real slow, so we're good. I thought you like me sketchily hopping that hatch. <laughs> yeah, I'm standing on that one, pulling on it. <laughs> it's gonna annoy mom. <laughs> All right, yeah. So that's weird looking down there now. Oh yeah, for sure. Let me see. Can't really tell from here, but I know that it's weird looking. Uh, we're gonna get the evaporator next. It's kind of awkward. Not really that heavy, but it's definitely awkward. Got the compressor going. We're just gonna give it a blast of air and try and get a little bit of the dust off of it. It's pretty bad. And uh, and then we'll tip it out the door and yank it out. Hopefully. Can you pick up? Let me lower a little bit. There you go. Now hold it. Let me pick up a tiny. Let me come down, Matt. It's just your your legs now, your mounts. Down. Oh, oh. Hmm. Sorry, go down or up? Pick it up on end, huh? Yep. How many damage points? Uh, none for me, but a little, a little scratch right there. Oh no. A little leg went a little wobbly. 
brackets. It was a bracket, yeah. Not my leg. <laughs> Stabilize it here and yeah, just pick up. Ready, she fell on a slide. I heard that. Yeah. Just blew a hose. <clears throat> Just blew our hydraulic line, guys. <laughs> no leakage into the water. Just ran down the side. Caught it just in time, but what the heck? Under that coil of line, huh? Yeah. Dang. That's a big hose. Well, oh, it's a small hose, it's a long hose. Yeah. Just have to get a couple of ends pressed and put a coupling there. Huh. Well, could have been worse places for that to happen. So, for once it's at the dock. I'm annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now we'll have to take care of that because that pumps our, or the hydraulics are for our pacer pump, which pump out our fish holds, so. Yeah, I guess we can loop it up forward for the short term here. Get a yeah. Get home. All right, well, a little <laughs> unforeseen event here. We blew a hydraulic hose. I'm not sure if you can that see that. But, well, I was standing here, but like, psh. Yeah, I heard it before I saw it. <laughs> I heard it too. It's like, what is that no. hissing? <laughs> yeah, you were right on that, switching that, switching it off once you saw what was going on. So yeah, these hoses are pretty old. I actually got them from a friend uh, years and years ago. So they've served us well, but we'll be dropping those ends off there and just put a little loop of a shorter hose there for now and stretch these out and get a measurement on them for uh, ordering some new ones that's our long line hydraulic loop so need those ones that's for sure yeah can't get around that yep so after hoisting all that stuff off our bow over here on the emerald isle popped up a uh, be an inch and a half by the looks of it. <laughs> Got a cleaned up deck. Well, not really cleaned up, but decluttered by one piece over in here. Can walk past without squeezing by the combing again. So, yeah. 
Yes, we'll uh, swap that hose out over there and then I think we're gonna hoist the stuff up in the truck. So we'll do that real quick.